If you are a student, gamer, or looking for a laptop on the go, stay tuned if the Zephyrus G14 is for you. Let's go! Released January 2020, the Zephyrus G14 was able to outlast virtually all gaming laptops due to its performance at the right price. It was even hailed as the best gaming laptop in 2020 by T3 Magazine. After 16 months, Asus improved the G14 with its second iteration of the product that was released end of May. And in this review, I share ko sa inyo kung sulit pa din yung laptop na to. Now, this laptop actually contains the Ryzen R7 5800, 16GB of RAM, 512GB of SSD, and not only that, I'm so surprised that Asus fits a 144Hz monitor in this 14-inch laptop. And take note guys, this is actually their basic model, their lowest variant that will cost you 64,995. Now, if you're looking for 30% more graphics power, then you can actually opt for the next variant wherein they actually have the RTX 350 Ti and that price is actually 74,995. If you're a content creator who makes a lot of videos or artworks online, then you can actually opt for the 99,999 variant wherein you're gonna get 6 gigabytes of VRAM rocking the RTX 3060. And not only that, you're going to have the Animatrix lights that is customizable at the back of your screen. Now, this varies by concept store, but if you are on the right timing, who knows, you may get a credit card discount or in my case, actually got a cash discount. And aside from the cash discounts, you may be able for a freebie, which is for me, a cooling pad or this mouse and laptop pad. On the left side, you can see here the sockets for your power, HDMI, USB Type-C, and your audio and microphone jack. Over here on the right side, you can see here two USB 3.0, the keyboard on the G14 feels very good, it's very responsive, and it feels natural to type on. For special keys, we have one here for your Armory Crate that actually displays information about your laptop's performance. They also have a power button that actually acts as a finger sensor. Also, Asus is very clever in designing the cooling for these laptops because as you open the screen, it actually creates this small air gap that only one makes it better for typing and two expels the heat from the inside of the laptop going out to the environment. So if mahilig ka maggamit ng laptop sa lap, nao magiging sobrang uncomfortable yung experience mo as in. As for the battery life, I actually get eight hours using their silent mode and roughly four or three hours using their performance mode. So kung pang matagalan talaga yung laptop sa battery life, this is actually one good contender as in. And the microphone of G14 is very spot on because it has a feature of noise cancellation. So if I tilt this laptop slightly bent, then you can see that my voice became lower. But if I do this at 90 degrees, then you cannot even barely hear my voice. So, ano yung pros ng laptop na to? First, it can run any application that you like to have. League of Legends, okay. Valorant, go. Dota 2, yes. And even heavy applications just like PUBG. On that game, I ran it on all ultra settings and I get a good 60 FPS during the in-game. Second, very portable and very lightweight. Parang less than 2 kilos lang to eh. Kaya alam yung tipong hindi ko na feel na may dala kong laptop sa likod. And last best part about the G14 is that you cannot find another gaming laptop with the same specs at the same price. Um, parang very few lang talaga yung laptop that can match the specs of the G14. And the only thing that is really compared to the most is actually the Razer Blade 15. Pero the price of that naman is around 80k. And for 65k versus 80k, G14 has the price. So what are the cons of buying this laptop? First, wala kang webcam and LAN cable. Kailangan mo pa bumili ng external devices for that. 
Second, the laptop can get really hot. Ang pinakamataas na temperature na kuha ko was around 85 degrees Celsius, which is okay naman because yung critical temperature, it's around 110 for the processor to be broken. And yung pinaka cons for you to buy this laptop is that it's super in demand. Binili ko to sa SM Mega Mall. Tinawagan ko yung store mga 7:30 a.m. Two units left. So akala ko madami pang oras. Tapos mga quarter to 4, tinawagan ko yung store para for additional inquiries. Tapos sinabi nila one stock left. Hala shocks. Guys, nag-grab talaga ako papuntang SM Mega Mall, pina-reserve and eventually yung tito po natin nakabili ng G14. Kaya wag kayo magugulat if yung nearest concept store nyo walang stock ng G14. And there you have it! That's my review of the Asus Zephyrus G14. For me, hindi ako magugulat if this is still the best gaming laptop for 2021. And for this video, I will give it 9.5 coconuts out of 10. Pasiguro if merong itong webcam, it can be a 10 out of 10. So if you have a laptop that's 4 years old or 5 years old, it's time for you to have an upgrade with the Asus G14. Basta available siya sa concept store nyo. Hope you like this video. Catch you soon.